welcome back for another video on productivity and organization here on Morning Coffee. My name is Megan and this channel is all about turning your to-do list into your dream life. And today we're talking about controlling paper clutter. Now, this topic is actually a little bit difficult for me because I'm a paper person. I love paper. I love writing things down. Like I literally still have a paper planner, which is basically like chiseling into stone at this point in the digital age, but it works for me. I need to have those things written down to remember them. But I do understand that it's really not that efficient to have a bunch of paper lying around everywhere. And so today I wanted to talk about some strategies you can use to control the paper that's around your house and in your life. One thing that I make sure I always do is I go through my mail right away to stop it from cluttering up my house. So I literally just went out to the mailbox, picked this uh, stuff up. I'm going to bring it right over here. Excuse my Christmas gift there. And I'm going to sort it right here on the counter, right above my garbage. So what is this? We've got jewelry advertisement. That's very nice. I am not in need of it. That's going there. Sam's Club. I would like to check and see what kind of deals they've got going on so that I will save. Thank you for your information, U.S. Cellular. I appreciate that not in need of it. Right in the recycle. Boom. I also do the same thing with my packages. So I just got this package out of the mailbox as well. And I am going to open it, take all of the items out of it, and then go put them away in my home. So if it was something for me, I'd go put it in my closet or whatnot. It's actually a Christmas gift. I have a room downstairs where I'm putting all my Christmas gifts. So I'm going to open this and then um, discard the packaging right away, like throw the packaging away right away and take it somewhere else in my home so it's not cluttering up my, uh, my island here. Keeping the receipt because it's a gift, but there is an inbox in my office where this will go. Packaging away. I am just going to check that this is exactly what I ordered. Hopefully my mom doesn't watch YouTube. Looks like we're good. This is going to go on my Christmas. Oh, <laughs> looks like uh, it's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to go put this with the rest of my Christmas stuff. When you do get around to having some paper that you need to hold on to, there's two locations that I use in my home to collect paper. So here in my office is my inbox. So this is just a white... Um, letter tray that I got at Target, I believe. And it actually sits right here. This is the door coming into my office. And so it sits right by the door. This is where I put anything that I open from the mail or, you know, from like living daily life, like receipts and stuff like that. When I am done with them, if I've decided I don't want to throw them away right away, I will put them in here. This is one spot in my house where paper goes if it doesn't get thrown right away. It's just nice to know that all of this paper isn't sitting on every counter, table, surface, whatever in my house. It's nice to know that if I'm looking for something, it's literally right there. And this isn't necessarily the last stop for this paper. Obviously, at some point, I have to go through it. And what I'll do at that time is decide if I want to keep something. So, for example, there might be a receipt in here that I wanted to hang on to just until I wore the item or used the item or gave the gift of the item to somebody. So um, those things might actually get thrown away once I go through this. The rest of them get put into the filing cabinet because I've decided I need to keep them permanently. 
So the last and final place that paper ends up in my home is in this filing cabinet. So this I keep in my office as well. It's just a simple three drawer. I got this at Target um, not a couple years ago, but I think they still have the same one. And so this is where my papers come to live if I've decided that I need to keep them for a long period of time. So I would say about every month to six weeks, I will take my inbox, go through it, and either toss or file things, and then I put them in this cabinet. I do try to go through this cabinet about once a year just to kind of clear out stuff that doesn't matter anymore. I'm always trying to get rid of more and more as I possibly can. Um, just because it is a lot to hang on to and it does clutter up a home and there are so many digital tools available to you now um, in terms of storing documents. So this is the filing cabinet for all of the things that can't be tossed or digitized. Well, technically they probably could be digitized. I just haven't gotten there yet. This really isn't that exciting, but I'll show you just. <laughs> That's real life, people. That's real life. So here's an example of some of the papers and stuff that stay in here. One tool that you'll find really helpful for controlling paper clutter is a paper shredder. I actually got a simple one off of Amazon. It comes with a wastebasket attached right to it. And then when I do get a document in the mail that I don't necessarily need to keep, but has personal information on it, and I shouldn't really just throw it away, like a statement from your doctor's office or a bank statement or something that has your social security number on it, things like that, that you should never just throw away, just toss them right in the paper shredder. And I do think it's important to mention that you can always go digital with some of your receipt keeping and filing as well. There is an app called Tiny Scanner that you can use. You download it from your app store or your Play Store, and it gives you um, the option to scan in a physical document. You scan it right into your phone and it sends it into your Google Drive, which is a great way to hang on to th some things. It also helps it be a little bit more searchable. So if you're considering, instead of hanging on to some paper, you wanna just digitize some things to save, the Tiny Scanner app is a great way to do that. Also, Google Drive is a great way to store pictures and documents and things like that um, so that you have them, you just don't physically have them. I hope you enjoyed all of these tips on controlling the paper clutter around your home. It's really true that the way that our spaces, our physical spaces look, really does impact how we feel, how we feel spiritually, how we feel mentally. And when you have less clutter around you, it's a lot easier to focus your time, energy, and attention on the important things in your life, like building your dream life. If you loved this video and wanna support this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you never miss a video that I share about productivity and organization. Also consider hitting that notification bell so that when a new video comes out, you get a little, a little nod from YouTube getting you the notification that it's here right away. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.